Matthew Henry's Commentary on the Whole Bible 5 And he lifted up his eyes, and saw the women and the children, and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God hath graciously given thy servant. 6 Then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, and they bowed themselves. 7 And Leah also with her children came near, and bowed themselves, and after came Joseph near and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. 8 And he said, What meanest thou by all this drove which I met? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. 9 And Esau said, I have enough, my brother, keep that thou hast unto thyself. 10 And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee. If now I have found grace in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand, for therefore I have seen thy face, as though I had seen the face of God, and thou wast pleased with me. 11 Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. 12 And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go and I will go before thee. 13 And he said unto him, My Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me, and if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. 14 Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that doth before me and the children be able to endure, until I come unto my Lord unto Seir. 15 And Esau said, Let me now leave with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. Genesis 33, 5-15 Commentary We have here the discourse between the two brothers at their meeting, which is very free and friendly, without the least intimation of the old quarrel. It was the best way to say nothing of it. They converse, 1. About Jacob's retinue, verse 5 to 7, 11 or 12 little ones, the eldest of them not 14 years old, follow Jacob closely, who are these? Says Esau, Jacob had sent him an account of the increase of his estate, chapter 32, 5, but made no mention of his children, perhaps because he would not expose them to his rage if he should meet him as an enemy or would please him with the unexpected sight if he should meet him as a friend, Esau therefore had reason to ask, who are those with thee? To which common question Jacob returns a serious answer, such as became his character, they are the children which God hath graciously given thy servant. It had been a sufficient answer to the question, and fit enough to be given to profane Esau, if he had only said, they are my children, but then Jacob would not have spoken like himself, like a man whose eyes were ever towards the Lord. Note, it becomes us not only to do common actions, but to speak of them, after a godly sort. 3 John 6 Jacob speaks of his children, 1. As God's gifts, they are a heritage of the Lord. Psalm 128. 3. 112. 9. 107. 41. 2. As choice gifts he hath graciously given them, though they were many, and now much his care, and as yet but slenderly provided for, yet he accounts them great blessings. His wives and children, hereupon, come up in order, and pay their duty to Esau, as he had done before them, verse 6, 7, for it becomes the family to show respect to those to whom the master of the family shows respect. 2. About the present he had sent him. 1. Esau modestly refused it because he had enough, and did not need it. Verse 9. Note, those who wish to be considered men of honor will not seem to be mercenary in their friendship. Whatever influence Jacob's present had upon Esau to pacify him, he would not have it thought that it had any, and therefore he refused it. His reason is I have enough, I have much, so the word is so much that he was not willing to take anything that was his brother's. Note, 1. Many that come short of spiritual blessings, and are out of covenant, yet have much of this world's wealth. Esau had what was promised him, the fatness of the earth and a livelihood by his sword. 2. It is a good thing for those that have much to know that they have enough, though they have not so much as some others have. Even Esau can say, I have enough. 3. 
Those that are content with what they have must show it by not coveting what others have. Esau bids Jacob keep what he had to himself, supposing he had more need of it. Esau, for his part, needs it not, either to supply him, for he was rich, or to pacify him, for he was reconciled, we should take heed lest at any time our covetousness impose upon the courtesy of others, and meanly take advantage of their generosity. 2. Jacob affectionately urges him to accept it, and prevails. Verse 10, 11, Jacob sent it, through fear, chapter 32, 20, but, the fear being over, he now importunes his acceptance of it for love, to show that he desired his brother's friendship, and did not merely dread his wrath, two things he urges, one, the satisfaction he had in his brother's favor, of which he thought himself bound to make this thankful acknowledgement, it is a very high compliment that he passes upon him, I have seen thy face, as though I had seen the face of God, that is, I have seen thee reconciled to me, and at peace with me, as I desire to see God reconciled, or the meaning is that Jacob saw God's favor to him in Esau's, it was a token for good to him that God had accepted his prayers. Note, creature comforts are comforts indeed to us when they are granted as answers to prayer, and are tokens of our acceptance with God. Again, it is matter of great joy to those that are of a peaceable and affectionate disposition to recover the friendship of those relations with whom they have been at variance. 2. The competency he had of this world's goods. God has dealt graciously with me. Note, if what we have in this world increase under our hands, we must take notice of it with thankfulness, to the glory of God, and own that therein he has dealt graciously with us better than we deserve. It is he that gives power to get wealth. Deuteronomy 8. 18. He adds, and I have enough, I have all, so the word Isaiah. Esau's enough was much, but Jacob's enough was all. Note, a godly man, though he have but little in the world, yet may truly say, I have all, one, because he has the God of all, and his all in him, all is yours if you be Christ's. 1 Corinthians 3. 22, 2, because he has the comfort of all, I have all, and abound, Philippians 4, 18, he that as much would have more, but he that thinks he has all is sure he has enough, he has all in prospect, he will have all shortly, when he comes to heaven, upon this principle Jacob urged Esau, and he took his present, note, it is an excellent thing when men's religion makes them generous, free-hearted, and open-handed, scorning to do a thing that is paltry and sneaking. 3. About the progress of their journey. 1. Esau offers himself to be his guide and companion, in token of sincere reconciliation, verse 12. We never find that Jacob and Esau were so sociable with one another, and so affectionate, as they were now. Note, as a for God his work is perfect. He made Esau, not only not an enemy, but a friend. This bone that had been broken, being well set, became stronger than ever Esau has become fond of Jacob's company, courts him to Mount Seir, let us never despair of any, nor distrust God in whose hand all hearts are. Yet Jacob saw cause modestly to refuse this offer, verse 13, 14, wherein he shows a tender concern for his own family and flocks, like a good shepherd and a good father. He must consider the children, and the flocks with young, and not lead the one, nor drive the other too fast. This prudence and tenderness of Jacob ought to be imitated by those that have the care and charge of young people in the things of God. They must not be over, driven, at first, by heavy tasks and religious services, but led, as they can bear, having their work made as easy to them as possible. Christ, the Good Shepherd, does so. Isaiah 40. 11. Now Jacob will not desire Esau to slacken his pace nor force his family to quicken theirs, nor leave them, to keep company with his brother, as many would have done, that love any society better than their own house, but he desires Esau to march before, and promises to follow him leisurely, as he could get forward. Note, it is an unreasonable thing to tie others to our rate, we may come with comfort, at last, to the same journey's end, though we do not journey together, 
either in the same path or with the same pace. There may be those with whom we cannot fall in and yet with whom we need not fall out by the way. Jacob intimates to him that it was his present design to come to him to Mount Seir, and we may presume he did so, after he had settled his family and concerns elsewhere, though that visit is not recorded. Note, when we have happily recovered peace with our friends we must take care to cultivate it, and not to be behindhand with them in civilities. 2. Esau offers some of his men to be his guard and convoy, verse 15. He saw Jacob but poorly attended, no servants but his husbandmen and shepherds, no pages or footmen, and therefore, thinking he was as desirous as himself, if he could afford it, to take state upon him, and look great, he would needs lend him some of his retinue, to attend upon him, that he might appear like Esau's brother, but Jacob humbly refuses his offer only desiring he would not take it amiss that he did not accept it, what needeth it? 1. Jacob is humble, and needs it not for state, he desires not to make a fair show in the flesh, by encumbering himself with a needless retinue. Note, it is the vanity of pomp and grandeur that they are attended with a great deal of which it may be said, what needeth it? 2. Jacob is under the divine protection, and needs it not for safety. Note, those are sufficiently guarded that have God for their guard and are under a convoy of his hosts, as Jacob was, those need not be beholden to an arm of flesh that have God for their arm every morning. Jacob adds, only let me find grace in the sight of my Lord, having thy favor, I have all I need, all I desire from thee. If Jacob thus valued the goodwill of a brother, much more reason have we to reckon that we have enough if we have the goodwill of our God.